Hello and welcome to Signs and Symbols. My name is Eric, and since yesterday, here on my channel, we've been getting to the bottom of this Rihanna Super Bowl 57 halftime show, trying to figure out what it meant and if it was connected to the Illuminati or not. In my first video, I pointed to the symbolism of Rihanna making the sh hand gesture to her mouth in the trailer for the Super Bowl video as being evidence that it might have been inspired by secret societies. Later, we found out that Rihanna also threw up the rock so-called Illuminati hand gesture at the end of the performance, but it wasn't on TV. You can check out my videos for those uh, by clicking on my channel and they'll be right at the top. However, about the actual meaning of the performance, I didn't really know when I saw <laughs> the performance. It, to me, it just seemed very simplistic, but my viewers had other ideas and I really appreciated uh, their contributions and a lot of them were so interesting. So I thought that today I would read some of their interpretations of what the Super Bowl halftime show could have meant and you can decide on your own which one fits your perspective the best. One viewer said, a host of angels descending from heaven and the leader was wearing red. I wonder who she symbolized. So in this one, I'm guessing that the commenter was saying that she symbolized Lucifer, uh, who famously broke away from heaven, uh, which is depicted as him falling from the sky like lightning. Another commenter said they did include symbolism in the performance. They symbolize Satan being lifted up and receiving worship while the whole world dances to his music. It could also have symbolized Satan being lifted up above the angels, the stars of God, to receive worship, what he wanted when pride was found in his heart, and it got him kicked out of heaven. And still another commenter said, I thought she was the one fallen angel dressed in red amongst the normal angels. Another commenter said, sometimes it isn't symbolism as much as it is simple imagery. Cell phones that are also coffins, sunglasses blinding men, as above so below camera rotation, feminization of men, men looking like sheep to me, puffy outfits and shaved chest, uh, several songs about being a stripper or women where the men dance like women. This idea of the feminization of men could have something to do with uh, following up with last week's Grammy performance uh, as Sam Smith uh, is now identifying as non-binary, and there's often a move in Hollywood, some people perceive, to make men less, less masculine. Also, I noted that sheep uh, is what the Illuminati normally thinks of us as, the general public, uh, to be manipulated and controlled fairly easily. Many commenters noted that she grabbed her crotch area, which was made famous by Michael Jackson. And the last theory, which I find to be the most interesting, is that this was kind of a presentation that was symbolic of the act of reproduction. And this, to me, would seem like something that a secret society would want to put forth. It's almost like a pagan ritual, you know, like to the fertility goddess or something like that. Let's read uh, what a few people said here, especially with her pregnant. Was the red symbolizing fertility, an egg, and the white dancer sperm? Like straight up serious. That totally popped in my head when I saw it. And she did do some crotch grabbing, then straight to her mouth hand gesture, which was disgusting in and of itself, but might have had meaning as well. My favorite comment was probably this one. The meaning of this show can be simply entitled Human Reproduction 101. In her red bulky outfit, she is representing an ovum. She travels down the fallopian tube to where the white sperm are swimming all around. She is constantly touching her reproductive area and spreading her legs. All of the sperm spells are in a state of excitement as they dance around her. There are even a few times when they put their hands behind their backs to form kind of a tail. They also do swimming motions with their arms. The lyrics to her songs suggest the sex act with her lover or John, bitch better have my money. One line in Only Girl even says, you can come inside. About halfway through the performance, she touches up her makeup and then is ready for a second round. More sperm cells enter the field. At the end, the fertilized ovum retreats back to her safe and soft fallopian tube to start a new life. With all this in mind, go back and watch it again. 
You'll see that I'm right. I was, it was really pretty simple. I can't believe that no one else saw it this way. The fact that Rihanna really is pregnant with her second child makes this especially obvious. So there, as you can see, there's kind of three main interpretations there. Which one do you resonate with most? Do you have anything to add? Any more interpretations or any comments to make? Please put them down below. And thank you so much for watching. As always, see you in the next one.